Behind me, this is one of the 14 new rapid electric car charging points which are being installed across Exeter. They're actually all being turned on later this month. Now, I've brought my tape measure. So obviously, they're quite surprising to look at. They're actually 160 centimetres tall. And I've been speaking to some active travel campaigners who worry they're blocking access for some people on the pavement. They're quite alien looking and they do take up, what, that half of the pavement. So they're a significant blockage. So I imagine if you're just a blind person who's making their daily walk around the area, suddenly finding this massive box blocking your path must be quite a surprise. Looking behind me, obviously you can see um, there's the new EV charging points here on Haven Road. And it's great that the County Council have committed to installing these. Um, our concern really is that they're being built out on pavements um, and pavements really are for people. So. Um, it would be great if uh, they could be actually built out into the road where the parking bays are so that they're more accessible for the cars um, but it leaves the pavements clear for people to be walking cycling and you know other um, ways of active travel well, as you can see it is a bit inconvenient but for somebody with a single buggy it isn't the biggest problem in the world i've been speaking to the county council they say they give permission for the location of each one of these and there's also plans for a much bigger rollout for them. The whole point about this is to, to roll these out, we've got to put them in, uh, in areas where, where, where people are, where, where, where they actually live, because, uh, you know, and that's the most important thing. It's no good putting them remotely in the middle of nowhere. Uh, and so uh, that's why we're seeing, you're mostly seeing these charges uh, going uh, on your street and uh, with a couple of spaces available uh, for those uh, rapid charges. Uh, but some of those spaces are also uh, available for co-cars and uh, 17 of those uh, places that are going out around Exeter will be for co-cars. These are the cars that you can hire, the electric vehicles. And uh, I would advise people to, uh, uh, you know, hire one of those cars, see how you get on with it. 